Hello Taurus, how are you? We're doing your beginning of July to the mid of July for this current year. Which is 2017. It took a minute. I'm sorry. I'm almost, I'll remember it by December. Did you say 2017? Did, did I say 2017? 2019. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Retake! Nah, it's cool. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. So, Taurus is to be Thunderdome, but it's a different style. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry too much about it, because it is just a card game. This is going to be your deck. This is going to be the deck of the person you're dealing with. This is going to be the deck of what happens if you approach each other. So, so far you got the King of Wands. You're taking control, being passionate about your actions. Or you could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or Aries. Ooh. Huh, you're taking control, Taurus. Like. But still going inward. Um, definitely could be dealing with an Aries. And the Virgo doing some introspection. Hmm. You're looking in for something. Ah, had a bad offer. Okay, there's something wrong there. Something doesn't look right. It looks terrible. And you're making a judgment call based on that. Possibly separating yourself from a bad relationship or dealing with a Gemini who leads you into like probably bad stuff or even a Capricorn you could be separating from. Okay, one more. Yeah, trying to balance yourself out and get your stuff done for you. Okay. You're definitely getting things done your way, taking an action. But I'm wondering what this, like, bad offer is right here. Because that's interesting. Hmm. Let's see what your other person is up to. hard-headed. They got their back turned, not really wanting to express themselves, being a little bit selfish, closing themselves off to a resurrection. Everything gets started anew. Even a shadow of a bird on the sun. I don't know how that happens, but it's there. Uh, really not wanting to try to come together. Not saying that there are any differences between the two of you, but it's like. Mm -mm. Um, could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with as well. Also, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces on their side. Ah, uh, yeah. Nobody's like really on their side. Or this is somebody who's sneaking in, making themselves look like a hero, and then it's like, found out that, like, they were almost like a rat. I don't know why I'm saying that. Yeah, like, nothing that they gave or took or anything they tried to establish as a foundation, it's all barren. Nothing came from it. It's all, like, blah, desert. And, you know, everybody plays the fool. Sometimes. Hmm. So, Taurus, what's going on on your side? Or what's going to be coming up on your side? Um, you are about to start anything new with any sort of commitment right now. In fact, you are pretty nettled, I would say, since that's your card. And it's reverse. Very nettled. I think you're changing the world <laughs> some people. Um, not entirely opening up to possibly this Sagittarius that's over here. You're not trying to come together with somebody else. Um, 
kind of pulling yourself back from this person a little bit. Yeah, in order to get your head straight, because this person is just screwing with your head. And realizing that, like, the offer is a, it looks fruitful, but no, it, it's, it's trash. Straight from a trash panda's pouch. Like, it, no, don't take trash panda stuff. Their gifts are usually, like, corn on the cob, cobs and, like, I don't know, apple cores. I don't know why, but as a kid, I always thought, like, when I saw an apple core in a cartoon, that, like, it was supposed to be delicious, but nobody ate it for no reason. But it just on the cartoon, I knew in real life, like, apple cores were terrible, but for some reason, I was just like, man, I wish I had a cartoon apple. I'll totally eat that. Um, this person is just going to be in a big-ass loop. <laughs> like, they're not going to be able to really... They're not completing something. They're Like, it's like, um... Like the snake right here that makes up the circle that's eating its tail, like the Oboroso or, or whatever it's called. Um... Instead of it being able to take its tail, it just keeps chasing its tail. Or like that old Nokia phone game where you had to like run around chasing something to make yourself um, bigger. But if you touched your tail, it, w it was over and you couldn't play the game anymore. And it's kind of like that. It's like they're playing that kind of game. Because I know if they touch their tail or come back to where they started, the game's over. Um, they see freedom, but they're, but they're not gonna go for it. Like I said, like, they're, they're stuck playing a game, and if they come back to the beginning, the game's over. Um, they do have regrets on this game, and they, and they kind of wish they could come back and, you know, say something, but it's like, them portraying a, uh, meat character holding a lion's mouth open. Could be Leo over here as well. Um... It's like they're portraying being this meek person, but they have enough strength to open a lion's jaw. You know, um, still keeping their back turned, and this meekness, like turning a blind eye to it, and it's just like I said, it's like they keep avoiding the end. Ten of Wands. It's like they're keeping their burden up longer than what they should. And they got this face right here with this dude. Oh God, it's so hard to judge where a camera can see when it's like that high. But yeah, they're like. Doing that sort of thing, right? So let's see what happens if you approach each other. situation, separation from breakup, overindulgences, um, my girl wants to party all the time, but I need sleep, you know, like, kind of like that, it's like, this person keeps you up, <laughs> they keep you up, you don't have your beauty sleep, and then you're like cranky, and then this is kind of like, why am I doing this shit, you know? Um, this person could be holding their emotions back in a really petty way. It could be cancer. Uh, yeah, th the world reverse once again. But this could also be, like, bad karma as well. It's like, you know. There's a loop, there's a kink in the system, and it just keeps clicking back to the same thing instead of going to the next gear. When it comes to, like, the two of you being together. Ah, you're over here looking all right, and you already know the truth of the situation. Like, your wand doubles as a sword. It's like you pull off the top of the cane and all of a sudden, woof, woof. Definitely aiming that sword at this person, and that's probably why they're trying to get away, but they can't because they know the game. Yeah, you know you got the truth of the sword with them secrets. Yeah, and they're coming out anyway. So, what'll happen... Will be the end result in this. Ah, bad judgment call, some bad ideas, someone not resurrecting something as well. 
Oh, okay. Taurus, I feel like you're the one who decided against this, and it just pissed this person off that this connection's not coming up. This is temperance for the third time. Yeah, so definitely it could be Sagittarius. Um, someone be really just not open-minded to anything at this point. So, that is your reading for the beginning of July to whenever I do the next one. Or whatever. Um, thanks for watching my video. If you want a um, personal reading, my email is in the description box below. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations. Like, share, subscribe if you wish, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.